Let's find out what's in our community. Since 1991, DKMS has been committed to fighting leukemia and other blood cancers, and bone marrow donor drives are the cornerstone of their life-saving effort. Joining us now to share more is donor recruiter Alina Supernova. Alina, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me here. First, tell us about the mission and goal of DKMS. DKMS is the largest bone marrow donor center in the world. And our mission is to recruit as many bone marrow donors as we can so that every patient can have hope in finding their life-saving match. So for those people who may not be familiar with the process, tell us how easy it is to become a bone marrow donor. Um, it's actually very simple to register as a donor. Um, anyone between ages 18 to 55 who is in very good general health mm -hmm. Um, can qualify and all they have to do is fill out a registration form and do a quick cheek swab test for their tissue type. Um, now once somebody does that, DKMS will place them on the national registry and when they come up as a match there's two ways that they can potentially donate their cells to the patient. Um, one of the ways is if the cells are extracted directly from the marrow of the bone which is in the pelvic area. Now everyone gets anesthesia, so there is no pain <laughs> during this procedure. Um, and the second way is if the cells are filtered out from the bloodstream through the process of an apheresis. This weekend, uh, people here in Massachusetts have a chance to help 32-year-old Jonathan and others like him. Can you share his story? Sure. Um, well, Jonathan is actually uh, an incredibly strong an empowering human being because this is someone who one day went from being a young, healthy, attractive family man, um, recently married to his college sweetheart, Courtney, to spending a weekend alone with her at home, feeling sick, going to the hospital, and unfortunately, as it happens with most patients with blood cancers, getting a sudden and shocking diagnosis that he has leukemia. So from that day, he had to remain in the hospital, um, you know, getting chemotherapy right away. And right now he really is in the fight for his life because he needs to have a bone marrow transplant, but there is no matching donor for him. Um, this is why his family and friends turned to us at DKMS um, to help them mobilize the communities and the neighborhoods to actually show up to these donor drives and register in the hopes that Jonathan can be saved and also thousands of others like him. When and where are the drives uh, in honor of Jonathan? Um, there are actually two donor drives that are coming up in the Massachusetts area. Uh, one will be on Saturday, July the 18th, and this is at the Belkin Farm. And there's a second drive on July 19th um, at the Holiday Inn in Boston, Massachusetts. But of course, um, everybody who is watching the show should go on our DKMS America's website so they can get the details. They can learn more about Jonathan, but most importantly, we want them to take action and actually show up to the drive, register, and hopefully we'll find that match. And even if they're not a match for Jonathan, they can still save a life? Yes. And this is how beautiful this whole concept is about being a bone marrow donor, because once you sign up and once you join the registry, you actually have a chance to match to any one of the thousands of patients who are looking for a match. So basically any one of the people walking through that door um, next weekend will be able to potentially be a lifesaver to someone. And of course, you know, every life is worth saving. And that's what we all hope for. Alina, thanks so much for being here and for all that you do. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to register to become a donor or to find out more about the local drives for Jonathan, go to dkmsamericas.org.